Ashley Adams and Yogi Roth back with you on the Pac-12 football release schedule show as we dive into Washington State's 2023 slate. The Cougs kick off their home action with a bang in week two, hosting Wisconsin September 9th. Cougs, of course, had that huge win against the Badgers in Madison last season. First time since 1998 that a Power 5 team is coming to Pullman for a non-conference game. The regular season finale will be in Seattle, 115th edition of the Apple Cup. It'll be played on a Saturday for the second straight year. Previous four seasons, it was on a Friday. As you take a look at the entire 2023 slate for Jake Dickert's Cougs. Yogi, what stands out to you? Well, they're going to have to have eight straight conference games to finish it off them, and you'll see later in the show, UCLA are the two teams that have to do that in this league. I look at week two, though, in Wisconsin. I mean, Jake Dickert had over 200 people there that he grew up with. He was around when they won at Wisconsin. I want, like, a GoPro at Coach Dickert's house because I, I want to be curious, like, how many people are going to be there pregame, and if they win postgame, it's going to be absolute pandemonium. Uh, so I love that game. But I also love week four and really their home schedule. Week four is a big moment for this program. Oregon State just got done talking about them and how, how we're big fans of them and what Jonathan Smith has done. If they can get that win at home, imagine if they start 4-0. That's a reality. And then a bye week, then everything's in front of them. And their home games really stand out. Arizona at home, Stanford at home, Colorado at home, as you said, on a Friday night. Like, I, I love how the schedule is laid out for them. You don't see back-to-back -back weeks where you're like, oh, man, it's a really tough stretch for them. I mean, it's not going to be easy. Look at the best duo of edge rushers in the league. And R.J. Stone Jr. and Brennan Jackson. So I'm a fan of it. Cam Ward back in the second year. New coordinators on both sides. So there's stuff to work mm -hmm. through. They've lost players in the portal. We know that. But I like how this schedule lays out for them. Yeah, and I think that's the big thing. If you're a Cougs fan and you're watching, you're saying, I, I saw a lot of announcements of a lot of players leaving. But the reality is they've got Cam Ward back. We're going to get that new offensive, new defensive coordinator. What is the thing, if you're a Cougs fan, that you're hanging your hat on coming into the season? Well, I think you're hanging, you're hanging your hat on Martin Stadium. Like, that needs to be, and it always has been, a difference maker. When you, again, you look at their schedule and the home games, I, I go to that. Take care of business at home. If you can do that, like you're going up against a first-year coach in week two against Wisconsin, and you beat him last year on your place, right? Cameron Ward is, I think we saw him as the year went on, get more and more comfortable with the speed of the game, the intricacies of the game. Yeah, it's a new system, but it's the same philosophy in terms of what this offense coordinator, Ben Arbuckle, will bring to them. And then defensively, they were in a guy who the state of Washington knows really well in Jeff Schmetting. He just came from Auburn. He spent 15 years at Eastern Washington right up the road. So I, I, I look forward to watching this team. I think they're going to be a sleeper. I think they've got an edge about them. I think they understand the realities that are happening in college football. But the players that are there, when you talk to them, Ash, they're getting after it right now. So do not sleep on this team. This team has a chance. Six, seven, eight or more wins when I look at their schedule and predict it out. And then can they steal a couple on the road? Can they steal a game at UCLA? Can they see what happens when they play Oregon? It's always been a fun one historically when you see these two teams play. So love the layout and really intrigued about what Jake Dickert is building. 